here, my family is here, other than like an official. If I try to identify the list you all, I would be doing myself a disservice. So just know that I love you all for joining me today for this very, very special occasion. For those out there listening, my name is Chantel Brown. Work uh, on day one. I have 10 years of legislative experience. Not two, not four, not five. 10 years of legislative experience. And as the Dr. Marvin McNichol so graciously pointed out, I am not a career politician looking to fulfill a lifelong thing. I want to run for Congress to help the people improve the community the hands of the people who need them the most. That is what I have been doing. Yeah. 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 I really just wait up and decide to do this. God put me on this path. Some of you guys know my story. I'm going to share it for those who don't. I found myself in my first city council meeting because I was surrounded by seniors and retirees. And I wanted to know where to go in the event of an emergency. So that led me to my city council meeting. I know Councilwoman Hagwood and Councilwoman Edwards remember this. And I presented the question, what's the emergency back in what the evacuation route? And I'm proud to say they gave you the answer. The question said, keep going to the meeting so you can learn about what's happening in your community. Well, I did. And while things were good, I thought maybe they could be just a little bit better. So rather than complain, I believe in the expression, be the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. So I decided to run, and I kept going to the meeting, and the administration took notice. They said, if you need some help out there, let us know. And I did. I let them know, so things started happening fast. Tree branches were getting trimmed, potholes were getting filled, floors were getting cleaned, so I'm feeling pretty good. So now election day comes. The polls close, and I was down my six votes. Down but not out, because I'm a child of faith. I trust in God's infinite wisdom. Yeah. And I said, okay, this might not be for me because I'm down by six. I'm getting things done. I don't need the title. I'm just going to keep at it. But little did I know, there were 23 provisional ballots in my race. And 11 days later, I learned that I had won that race by seven votes. An amazing pastor, Pastor Larry L. Harris of the Mount Island Missionary Baptist Church, who instilled in me that that seven represents perfection, completion, and God. So that has been the moral compass and the guiding force in this work that I intentionally call public service. I didn't get here on my own. I was here by his divine intervention, great mercy and favor. Can I get an amen? As I do this work called public service, the people promoted me in 2014 to the seat that I have. And I now have a wide range of legislative accomplishments. I'm experienced. Thank you for working with folks like my colleagues, Sonny Simon, hey. Tommy Executive Judas. Listen, we've been able to get a lot of things done. You've heard about some of those things, so I won't repeat them. But I just want you to know that you have someone who is ready on day one. Day one. Ready, Ready. on day one. Ready, Ready. 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 on day one. Yeah. But get the job done to make sure that we get the resources we need to prepare for the pandemic. This is a historic seat. Yeah. Yeah. It is a long legacy. Yeah. We need someone with the courage yeah. of a Lewis Stokes. Someone who spoke truth to power, to the government, to the man that we have reflected representation in our government. I hear you. I have done that. We need someone like Stephanie Tubbs Jones, who was so connected to the community. She had a magnetic smile and an infectious personality, and she could get into any room from the hood to the heights and from the streets to the streets. 
Thank you. 